Hello 3D printing friends! Today on the BV3D channel we'll learn how to fix a broken feature on Thingiverse. Stick around and we'll get into it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BV3D. Hi, welcome back! Hey, if you're new here and you're wanting to learn about 3D printing, 3D modeling, and other 3D printing related stuff, Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're going to fix one of Thingiverse's broken features, or at the very least, work around it. Now, this is a super quick video. So quick, in fact, that it's the kind where inevitably someone's going to comment that I talk too much relative to the amount of information I'm conveying. But hey, this is my video format, and I'm sticking with it. The feature in question is the Download All Files button on any given Thingiverse page. And the way it's supposed to work is exactly what you think. Click the button and Thingiverse should zip up all the Thing files and the download should start. But that feature recently stopped working. And when it did work, it was a super time saver. But now it doesn't. So I was bummed when I found a Thingiverse thing I wanted to print, clicked Download All Files, and All Files did not download. Instead, I had to click the download button for each individual file, wait a few seconds for it to start, and then click the next one. Over and over again. Almost a dozen times. Ugh. Hashtag first world problems. Anyway, a couple of days after I did the click, download, lather, rinse, repeat thing, James Bowling commented on one of my videos with a brilliant solution to this problem. After you click the Download All Files button, click in the address bar of your web browser. Change the word Files at the end of the URL to the word Zip. Then press Return. And just like that, you have downloaded all files in a handy Zip archive. And the archive actually contains all the files too, including the License and README files, just like it used to. So, hopefully Thingiverse will fix the Download All Files button so it actually downloads all files. In the meantime, thanks to James, I have this solution. Now I can keep using Thingiverse without getting upset and becoming Thing-averse. <laughs> well, 3D printing friends, that's about all the time we have for this episode. See? I told you it was a quick one. And now that we're at the end, let's go print something cool. Hey, real quick before you go, I wanted to say thanks for being one of the super awesome people who sticks around all the way to the end, and thanks for all the likes, comments, and shares. And an especially big thanks to those who directly support what I do. You're all wonderful for doing that, and I really appreciate it. If you liked this episode, a thumbs up would be great. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check the description for ways you can do exactly that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's absolutely free, and it's an excellent way to help keep me making these videos for you. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time here on the BV3D channel.